You can also send some message to the user. So if you go to controls, messages, we have some different messages. We have toast notification, for example, that will have these kind of messages and you can put that in different places so the user can see some information. We have the page toast notification. Let me try to auto timeout, dark background or not. The text can be enlarged or not. You can change where you want, top of the window, at start, at the end, and we can see the messages. And we have the different types of message we are seeing here. We have also the stick banner. There is this kind of message inside the page. Uh, let us use the page toast notification. You will need to have this part, the messages configuration. Uh, let us put in the end. the class we are going to use the dark ones we are going to use the display options category as none you will not see this confirmation and this timestamp or for now you can use it so let's remove the position we'll have an object and we want to use top end window so the position will be that we need also to load the module there is the oj messages We need to have a data provider with the messages. So here in init all variables, we will need the messages data provider. We already have the red data provider include and we need to specify the messages. It will be the this dot messages, an error message with a timestamp, a summary and a detail. It is an example here. We need to fix here the position, um, but for now let's put an empty object and we will have the message in the default position. So there it is. To have it in a different position, we need to have an object, an object like this one. Let me copy that and we are going to give it position messages position and it will be equals to we are going to use the my hat and off properties with the vertical and horizontal um, properties as well to the top and end. If you go to here, we will have the message here. To use the auto timeout, we need to put it inside the, the message structure. Let me show you an example and put, let's say, five seconds. And let us wait a little bit to see. Yes, so after five seconds, the message will be removed. So let us create some global functions to get this kind of configurations. A global function to return the configuration. So here we are going to use the core hotels and the toast message position. If you reload, we will have the right position there. How to timeout can also be here. As get auto timeout, it will return eight seconds, for instance. So if I save that now, we can wait eight seconds and then the message will disappear. 
so now how can you use that we can display a message when we press the save button if you are going to save instead of having the alerts we can show a message and we can also show a message with result from the service if we uh, created the customer successfully or not so how can we do that we have an approach that i like there is by changing this message data provider from an array data provider to an observable that holds the array data provider so then we can override we can change the observable value with a new array data provider with a new array of messages of course you can also have an observable array of messages inside the array data provider and change the observable array itself for now i'm going to use this approach so let me change it here to the init all observables and now it will be an observable and simply we'll have an empty array now in the create button click function we will change the observable value with a new array and that array we hold will hold the this structure we have here we can remove this message array and we can copy that to here and save that now we are not seeing the message as soon as we enter the page we need to have some value here here and here and if i press create we have still the alert and we also have the message being shown here so you can put here i guess it's confirmation yeah so it is confirmation message the summary will be confirmation message and the detail it will be saved successfully then we, we can use translations for that let me remove the alert so we have some values the country the birthday and we press create and we have confirmation message saved successfully we can also remove the summary or we can configure that to show what we want you can see the display options and category that can be either auto unknown the default is auto we can use the other values to see Adder. let me put that as soon as we declare it to see the the, the message seems to be equal i'm sorry i need to change it here so the nan will have the confirmation message so this category will not display the category that is the confirmation that is the um, severity if i put header here it will show everything so let me have that as the default auto um i don't want the summary so let me put that empty again and look for this and change the values here so now we have a message that user can press to close or wait so this is how you can have some messages in your pages now we are going to build a service module to abstract the service calls the api calls we are going to use so we can say we can get data from uh, rest api and we are mocking that so we are faking a real service call by using promises to give us the impression that we are calling an actual service because we are waiting some time for the promise to resolve and then we can uh, make some actions according to to the result of that service call that fake service call for that we are going to use a file to abstract that or several files and they will be here inside gs and let's put that services and then for now let's create the customers services .gs and here we will have something like the core gs file 
but without this logic So we have an empty one, customers, services, we have an empty class and it will be customers, service, abstraction. Here we will develop functions that will fake a real call to a service and then we are going to build this first Oracle Jet app using these service functions, these abstraction functions, these class methods that will help us to build all the logic without having services and then if you want we can build the, the real API to connect to a database.